Photo management tools are amazing. They can organize your life in neat little boxes. And as a photographer, that is extremely important to me, especially when I'm juggling hundreds of clients. Today, I'm going to have a look at PeeWeeGo. I'm also going to have a look at Image and figure out what features they have and why you should be using one over the other. So let's check them out. All right, let's jump into PeeWeeGo now. So if you are looking for open sourced photo management, then this is a pretty good option. For more than 23 years, PeeWeeGo has empowered millions of users worldwide with robust photo management capabilities. This open source solution helps individuals, teams and organizations efficiently manage thousands to hundreds of thousands of photos without performance degradation. Whether you're self-hosted or cloud-deployed, PeeWeeGo ensures complete privacy and ownership of your visual assets, backed by a vibrant community and a comprehensive documentation for users at any technical level. Also, um, their organization and their customization. Let's have a look at this. So you can create unlimited nested sub-albums and assign photos to multiple albums simultaneously, providing maximum organization flexibility for very large collections. You can update tags, authors, albums, and geolocation data across many photos at once. This can save you hours of manual work when managing large collections. And you can display photos on interactive maps via GPS metadata using plugins that support both Google Maps and OpenStreetMap integration. You can see that you can also personalize your PeeWeeGo installation with themes and a rich plugin ecosystem that extends your functionality to meet your specific needs. The last thing that we're going to have a look here is their, uh, their secure sharing and their collaborative features. So first of all, you get granular access control which means you can set permissions by user, group, album, or even individual photo to ensure that the right people see only what they should. It also has support for multi-administrators and user groups, making it ideal for team environments across educational institutions, businesses, and even government agencies. You get complete control over your data, which is a huge thing, especially when you're dealing with open source software. So you get complete control over all of your data with a cross device accessibility through responsive web design and dedicated mobile apps. So Image is a self-hosted platform for backing up and managing your personal media collection. It actually offers Google photo-like functionality with um, absolute complete privacy. You can browse, search, organize um, all of your photos as well as videos while maintaining full control of all of your data. So there's no third party access to any of your stuff. It has smart organization tools. Um, they are all AI powered. So um, you can actually use their search function. You can find photos by content description, uh, which is fantastic if you are looking for a particular photograph. You don't know which folder it's in. You don't know where to find it. It's impossible. You've been looking for months. This is your solution. Also, you can view photos on an integrated map. And then also um, it has face recognition. So you can actually group and label similar faces or even particular faces and name them and have everything in uh, a very organized fashion. Um, it works effectively on um, modest hardware, which is fantastic. Their face recognition runs on your own server, again, keeping sensitive biometric data private. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a fantastic roundup, a good head-to-head -head comparison. If this was helpful, you can go ahead and drop us a like. If you have any feedback, you can leave a comment down below, and we'll see you next time.